Hi, today I am going to show you how to make beef balado. Balado is a name for a hot and spicy kind of food from a region in Indonesia called Minang. There are many kinds of balado. People make egg balado, um, fish balado, or beef balado. Normally, beef balado is not shredded. Uh, but today, I'm going to make a different style of beef balado. So it is a shredded beef balado. So I learned how to make this shredded beef balado from my friend Mary. So most of the times when we get together, she brought uh, her style of beef balado and then everyone loved it. So I asked her how she made it. It is actually pretty easy, pretty simple. The ingredients you may find at any grocery stores here. For example, this sambal ulek. I see it at many grocery stores um, on the Asian aisle, all right? So this sambal ulek is very popular among Asian in United States. For those who don't live in United States, you may not know the sambal ulat, but of course you can uh, use any other chili paste. Um, people in Indonesia, you can just make your own sambal uh, because it's easy, it's very easy for you guys to find fresh chili, right? So like I said, it is very easy to make, very simple and it tastes very, very good. So I am using a chop cut for this balado shredded beef. And what I need to do is to, uh, to cook, to boil the chop first uh, before you can shred the beef, okay? I am going to use a pressure cooker to cook this chop to make it faster, okay? If you do not have pressure cooker, then you just need to use your regular pot, okay? But it will take longer time, probably an hour and a half or two hours to make it uh, soften or tender so you can shred the uh, the beef the meat okay so i have four pounds here there's two uh big uh, cuts here i'm just gonna use one okay and keep the rest so if you are using a regular pot not the a pressure cooker then you wanna cut your meat to chunks okay but for me because I am using uh, the pressure cooker I don't really have to cut to the smaller chunk I can just cut uh, just remove the fat first okay so I can just put uh, this chunk into my pressure cooker. I don't have to cut it into smaller to make it easy for me to uh, pick up later rather than in smaller chunk, okay? But again, if you don't have the pressure cooker and you cooking it in a regular pot, then uh, you may wanna cut them into smaller chunk to make it faster for you to uh, cook, okay? Because at the end, we need to shred this uh, meat anyway, okay? So it's not gonna be in the shape of chunk or uh, little pieces, but it's gonna be shredded. So I'm gonna uh, cook this beef, uh, this chuck, in a pressure cooker. I'm gonna add uh, a few, a couple of uh, Indian bay leaf. You don't have to if you don't have it. And then some salt. So I added water just to cover the uh, the meat, okay? And then close the cover with the lid. And then I'm going to cook this chuck uh, in a high pressure for 20 minutes. I'm going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. So shallot, because I'm using like around one pound of beef of chuck, so I'm using this uh, three a large uh, shallot and four cloves of garlic and uh, tomato, sambal ulek, 
So instead of using the red chili, uh, we gonna use a sambal uluk that you can find at the grocery stores, okay? Uh, salt, of course, sugar, and kecap manis, okay? Sweet soy sauce. Now, I just need to slice this thinly. Slice my uh, shallots and my garlic now for the uh, tomato. I just need to cut it into a smaller chunk. I'm gonna use uh, two. All right. And also, don't forget the bay leaf. Use two or three. I'm gonna put all the ingredients into one plate. So my uh, chuck is cooked already. And now all I need to do is to shred the meat. You see, just shred the meat with fork, okay? Okay, so uh, this is all the shredded beef that I got from uh, around one pound of chuck. Now I'm gonna bring everything to the stove and start cooking. So I have my wok hot already, add oil. So add the uh, the onion and the garlic and also the bay leaf and saute. Until the garlic and the shallot uh, soften. So because I have the lime kefir leaf, so I'm gonna add it too, just to uh, give more uh, fragrance. So I'm gonna add the tomato. transparent already and then my tomatoes uh, also are softened. I'm gonna add in the shredded beef. Mix it. Now the sambal ulek. Okay, this sambal ulek is not just chili. It has other things, you know, it has salt and uh, vinegar, all right? That's why it tastes a little sour. So how much? It's up to you, okay? If you like it spicy, add a lot. Uh, salt, okay? Probably half teaspoon. Sugar. One teaspoon. So you want to cook this until the tomato uh, are not in a chunk anymore. Okay? So last thing you want to add is the sweet soy sauce, all right? Probably like two tablespoons. 
is because the the sambal ulek is kind of sour, right? So we want to balance it with the uh, sweet soy sauce. So that's it. I'm gonna just taste it. Mm. It is sweet and spicy. <laughs> it's good. So cook it until it is dry, okay? Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna turn off the stove. So uh, this is my balado shredded beef that I learned from my friend Mary, uh, or I should call it Mary's uh, balado shredded beef or Mary's. Uh, daging suwir balado uh, this is very easy to make um, and it's very yummy this is smells so good because I added the kefir lime leaf it is a little bit spicy but if you do not like too spicy then add not too much of the sambal ulek okay so this tastes yummy so now to garnish I will add the fried salad but if you don't have it, then don't worry about it. So I hope you enjoy and try making it.